Today, I'm sharing what might be one of the best kept secrets that I know of for editing product photos. What I'm gonna be showing you today is honestly one of the best hacks that I feel like every single online seller should be using. And I promise this is gonna save you hours of time and make your life so much easier. And I'm gonna share all the details coming up. Welcome back, y'all. If it's your first time here, I'm Kate. I'm a wife, mom, Etsy seller, and business coach, and my goal here is to help you succeed in selling online. Whether you sell on Etsy, Shopify, Amazon, or any other online platform, you're gonna love what we're talking about today. As e-commerce sellers, we all know how important quality photos are to the success of your online store. Those listing photos can literally make or break your shop, so we spend hours upon hours taking and editing and taking and editing each photo so it's just right. I'm sure you can testify to the enormous amount of time and effort that that process takes. So you guys, when I found the system I'm about to show you, you can't even imagine, I can't even express the amount of joy I felt and I cannot believe that more people don't know about this. So this system is called Auto Retouch and I do wanna give a big thank you to Auto Retouch for sponsoring today's video. I'm excited to be partnering with them because you know that I never recommend anything to you guys that I haven't used and loved myself. So I'm excited to collaborate with them. I'm excited to show you this system because they are the real deal. So when I say photo editing, I'm talking background removal, skin retouching, face cropping, resizing, and maybe the coolest feature they have which is creating ghost mannequin images. So Auto Retouch is an AI power technology that automates your photo editing, cutting out those hours and hours of time you spend on all those repetitive editing tasks. It can batch edit hundreds of photos in a matter of minutes using intelligent automation. You can literally customize the specific editing task that you want it to apply and then upload a bulk amount of images which it then automates and edits for you. It's incredible. When you then go to export your images, it has different options for exporting including your normal JPEG, PNG, and a couple different options. But the cool part is that you can export as a PSD which is a Photoshop file. So if you use Photoshop to edit, you can retain all of your layers in the images from Auto Retouch, bring it over to Photoshop and continue your editing there so that you're retaining your full creative control over your images, which is so cool. Auto Retouch also directly integrates with Shopify and WooCommerce. So if you sell on one of those platforms, that's an added bonus. So let's go ahead and dive in so I can show you all the amazing things that Auto Retouch can do. So I've already logged into my account at autoretouch.com and this is the homepage and they have some options here to choose from to get started. So you'll see remove background from product images, remove background from model photography, create a ghost mannequin image, create a new workflow. And then under that you'll see from scratch and a, from a template. So basically what a workflow is, is you can think of it kind of like a preset. It's a workflow that you're creating to edit your images and there's different smart components that you can customize and build your own workflow depending on what you want done to your images. So Auto Retouch is awesome. They offer templates if you don't really know where to start, but we're gonna create one from scratch. So here you'll see the first step is to upload an image. So since most of you are probably doing product images, I'm going to do one as well. So you can see this is our product image we're gonna work with here. Um, while that's uploading, we're gonna look at step number two, which is to drag and drop components to the workflow below to apply the changes to your image. So all of these right here that you'll see are the different options for the smart components, and these are the different editing tasks that you can drag and drop down here to build your customized workflow. So you can remove the background. If you have a model picture, you can do a skin retouch. You can set on a canvas, which we'll talk a little bit more about that. You can add shadows, extract patch, color palette, edit the file name, crop the face. Like if you have a model that doesn't, that you don't want the face in, you can crop the face, trim to content and exporting options. So we're going to just Pick a couple of these to build our workflow and it's super easy, you just drag and drop. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove the background on this image. So as soon as you drag and drop that down, it's gonna go ahead and process your image so you can see what it looks like. And you'll see here this checkered background shows that it's transparent, so it's removed our background. 
which is really cool. It seems like it did a good job of capturing the whole product image and removing the background. Um, you'll see some options down here that you can play around with. I'm going to click select object since mine is not clothing or a model really. I mean, there's a little bit, but it's mostly the object. So I'm going to select that one. And now the next thing I'm going to drag down, I think is I want to see how the shadows work here. So we'll see if we can see it's supposed to add a shadow underneath. And of course, you can see the options down here for changing the size, the blur factor, the angle and the color of the shadow. Um, I'm going to make the shadow a little larger. And anytime you want to see it up close, you can go over here where it says preview and download and you can preview what you're working on for free. So this is not charging you anything as you're looking at this. So let's see a little bit closer here. I see some shadows underneath there. It's not overdone, but I definitely see a little bit of shadow there. Okay. So then the next thing I'm going to work on is the canvas. I want to put this on a canvas. I'm going to drag that down and your options for the canvas. Basically the canvas is just what's going underneath this image. Since it doesn't have a background now, we're putting a canvas underneath it. So padding is like how much you, how much room you want on the top left, right, and bottom of your image size. I'm going to change this to be a square. I'm going to do 700 by 700. See how that looks. And then alignment. I'm going to stick with center and I'm going to change this to center. So everything is centered completely and then background. So you can choose a background color. If you have, let's say like a brand color, you might even have hex codes for your brand color. So you can input that here if you know a specific color that you want, um, or you can just play around with it and see what the different colors look like as a canvas. I think I'm going to try something kind of neutral, maybe this gray. You can also upload an image. So if you had a different image that you wanted to upload and use that as the background, that's a pretty cool feature too, that you can click here to upload a different image and use that as a background image. But I think for now, I'm going to stick with this gray. I think this is a great warm gray. That's a great neutral color to have as a background for my image. Um, I'm not going to use the crop face or the skin retouch on this demonstration because I don't really have a you know, a face to work with here. Um, I am going to do this file name. So for the file name, you want to keep in mind that you're building a workflow here. So the next thing we're going to do after this, I'll show you is we're going to use the batch mode where we can batch edit a whole group of photos. So you want to keep in mind if you're going to be batch editing using this workflow that you're building with the file name, whatever prefix or suffix you give this file name is going to apply to all of the images in your batch. So I'm going to just do a prefix. I'm going to put test as my prefix. So that means all of my photos that I'm going to batch edit will have the prefix on the file name of test so I can find them easily. And then we're going to look at our exporting options as the last thing here. So this is a really neat thing because you have a lot of different file types that you can choose PNG, JPEG, TIFF, PSD, multi-layer, TIFF, multi-layer. So I want to talk about this PSD. I mentioned this before, but the PSD multi-layer is really a cool option because if you work with Photoshop and you're editing in Photoshop, you can save and export this image as a PSD file, which means you're retaining every single one of these layers and you can take it then over to Photoshop and continue editing it in Photoshop with the different layers. So you still have full control over removing or editing any of these layers in Photoshop. So I think that is such a, a neat feature for those of you that use Photoshop. For now, I'm just going to choose a JPEG and you can change the quality here for the export. There's some different options here. So now once you feel like you're satisfied with this, there's some options over here. You can always click this again to preview and, and download it for free just to look at the preview. Um, but once you feel like you're satisfied and you want to actually process the image to save, you click this process image. Um, you'll see that the price is right here. Now the price is in euros. You'll see up here too, it'll tell you the price per image. Now what I love about how Auto Retouch does their pricing is that there's no subscription fee. There's no user fee. There's no monthly fee. You're paying as you go only for what you use. So it's 
literally per image you're paying. Now it is in euros. So for the people that are in the US, um, when you choose your credit package and you purchase that credit package, you can purchase in US dollars and it'll automatically convert, but it'll tell you in euros because the, the credit packages that they use are in euros. So for a regular product image, it's going to be 10 cents in euros, which equals to about 12 cents US dollars. Um, I think that is a great price for what the, the service that you're getting here and the amount of time and effort you're saving by doing it this way. Um, but I love that you're literally just paying as you go and you're not having to pay a subscription fee. So if you're ever wondering what your specific image will cost, you can see it right here. So you're not being charged until you hit this process image and that's when you're charged for that specific image. And like I said, you've already purchased the credit package ahead of time. So this is basically just charging against that package that you've already purchased. The other option here is that you can click save. If you're not wanting to process this image, but you're wanting to just save the workflow that you've built, you can click the save and that'll just save the workflow so you can use it in the future. One other awesome thing I did want to mention too with the pricing is that when you first start and you first sign up for an account, you have a free trial in the beginning. So you're not having to purchase that credit package right away. You can actually play around with your own images and there's a certain number of images you can do for free to just try out the different components and you can verify it for yourself. So I love that they give you a free trial in the beginning as well. Okay, so now that we've built this workflow, I'm going to take you over here and show you how to batch edit. So we're going to click on workflows. This is the one that we've created. We're going to open our workflow and we're going to go see it says instant run mode right here, or you can go to batch mode. So first we're going to add a batch name. So I'm going to put test batch as our name, and then we're going to drag and drop our images that we want to batch edit over here. So I'm going to choose a couple of these images to use our same workflow on. Now in this batch mode, you can batch edit up to 100 images at a time in a matter of minutes. This is amazing, you guys, because think about the amount of time you would be spending manually going in and editing each and every single photo separately with what we're doing here with removing the background and all of the different components that we've added to this workflow. This is going to automate it for you so you're not having to go in and do each and every one separately. So we have uploaded our pictures. Let's click Run Batch. And it's going to process these and show us down here what the final image looks like. You can see I tested this earlier on the same photos, but I want to go ahead and run this for you so you can see the process. So it's running these photos and it's going to go through that same exact workflow, removing the background, setting it on the canvas with the different customizations that we put in our workflow, saving it with the file name, putting the shadows in there, all of it. It's going to batch automate all of that. Okay, so it looks like it's done editing our photos and you can click here to download your photos, but I wanna show you another place you can go to see them, which is over here on results. And then you would just go to all images. This is where all of your edited images will be. So you can click on one to see the preview and there's our journals. So you see it did the same exact workflow. It added some shadows, it set it on our gray square canvas after removing the background. I think this turned out awesome. It looks like it did a really good job on the edges, really picking out exactly where the journals were. It didn't really miss any parts or cut out any parts. Let's look at the next one. This is another picture of these journals standing up. Again, it did a really great job um, specifying where the journals were, removing this background. I love the look of that gray canvas as well. It's just a nice neutral color. And you can see on this bracelet, you can see the shadow, the drop shadow down here, which is really nice. That just adds a little bit to make it look more realistic. So I'm loving how these turned out. Um, again, you can click download over here to get your photos. All right, so the next thing we're gonna look at is a really cool feature called the ghost mannequin feature. So we're going to go to this. For those of you that don't know what a ghost mannequin image is, it's also called a hollow man in the fashion world. This is a type of image that is very popular. It's actually 25% of fashion retail images on websites are ghost mannequin images. So the ghost mannequin image is basically a piece of clothing that looks like it's being worn by either a mannequin or a real person, but it's not just laying flat. It has the, um, the appearance that it's being worn. You can see how it lays on the body. But the trick with these, is that it takes two photos to merge together to create a ghost mannequin image, which means that if you're doing it yourself, you're going to spend a lot of time 
merging your two images and manually editing this, or you're going to be paying somebody top dollar to do this for you because it does take time to manually edit these type of images. So I love that auto retouch is giving you a way to automate this and to do this so easily. The first uh, image is a product image. It's basically just a photo of a piece of clothing being worn. And then the second photo is an inlay image, which shows the inside of the garment um, that's being held up. So you're seeing the garment itself being worn and then the inside. And we're going to merge these two to create a ghost mannequin image. So I'm going to go ahead and upload. You can, if you're interested in trying this out, you can use some of these example pictures that they have here. But I'm going to go ahead and put our own up here. So this is a pair of jeans. Um, that's being worn. And then here's the inlay image for the inside, just holding up those jeans. And we're going to see if this can process and see what the ghost mannequin image looks like. So there it is. Boom. Look how fast that was. This turned out awesome. Okay. So you can see how it took the body out of the picture and then it merged with the inlay to show the inside of the jeans right here. So it's a complete picture of it. You see how it looks like it's being worn. You can see the wrinkles. You can see how it lays on the body. So this is an example of a ghost mannequin image. And that was, I mean, that was super fast. And I feel like it, it's really good quality. It did a great job of selecting where the jeans were. So over here, you can see you can change the shadow intensity on it, the warping intensity, and then you can choose PSD or PNG for your file type. So of course, this will not charge you um, until you click this process PNG file or PSD file right here. Once you click that, it'll charge you against your account. Now the ghost mannequin images on auto retouch are a little bit more than just the normal product image. So this would be 50 cents in euros, which equals about 59 cents USD. But y'all listen, for the amount of time that you're saving with automating this, and y'all saw how fast that was, this is so worth it. If you are in fashion or retail and you have these types of garment or clothing pictures, this is exactly what you need to be doing because the quality is just amazing. One last thing I do want to note before moving on is that for this inlay image, when you're uploading and taking your images, you want to make sure that you're holding up the piece of clothing. You want to make sure it's not being worn and you're trying to like backwards get a shot from the inside. You want to make sure to turn the whole piece of clothing inside out and hold it up straight. So there you have it, friends. Isn't that amazing and incredible? And aren't you so glad that you know about this now? I was so happy to find out about this and I'm definitely using auto retouch from now on for all of my editing. So stop what you're doing, hop over to autoretouch.com right now and create your account and start playing around with all the different features. The cool thing is that they give you the first several images for free as a trial run so you can verify it for yourself using your own images. As soon as you sign up for an account, you'll have some free credits that you can play around with the different features and see what you like the best. If you sell on Shopify or WooCommerce or a third party platform that you're interested in learning more about the integrations, I'll put the link to click on in the description box below. And if you go there, you can get a lot more information about how to directly link your shops and get that integration. If you found this video helpful at all, would you give it a big thumbs up and also leave me your feedback in the comments below. I would love to hear what you think of auto retouch. Happy editing and I'll see you next time friends.